back again. Uh, today we're, well, right now we're learning about concat concatenation. It's a big word. Uh, it has to do with joining, <clears throat> gluing a piece of text onto a string. So we're going to glue a piece of text. I'm gluing whatever in cell A2. I'm gluing it to area code. And just so happens to be that in cell A2, we do have an area code. So we're going to stick the area code plus the area code into, into this cell. Maybe you want to uh, glue a first name, a middle name, and a last name together. Uh, or you, you want to put uh, just some text on the end of a, a value that's over here. Maybe you want to say, let's say the first name, here. Uh, Kira is was here. Kira, and then add a add the text was here. Okay, we could do that as well. But <clears throat> for the for the for the basics of this example here, we're saying okay, I'm just a person F A. We're stepping through the code here. Okay, I'm accepting was it written cell A2, getting just the left of that string, left of characters, and I'm going to attach the the value uh, error code to whatever is in that string. So if I go back a seven one three error code. Okay, if I want to go ahead and I'm going to delete this and write it again, 713 in the in that cell. And I'm going to go ahead and bang. I press F5. It went real fast. Five something the I get to see. And it wrote the value here. 713 error count. Pretty nice. Now, if I want to go ahead and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to kick it up a notch, okay, we're going to use another example from the from the document that you have the VBA crash course, okay. And then I'm going to go over here and then uh, no, I have some red things, so I want to watch out for that and comment those out, but I can do it yet. Okay, so first of all, I'm getting the first and last names. Clean the variables up. Notice that they're still red, so I'm putting a little apostrophe in front of them. Because I think those are comments. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so the first name and the last name in cell A3 and B3. A3 and B3. So let's go back to the page here. A3 is going to be Curie, Curie, and then Davis. This will be the last name. Curie and Davis. So maybe you have a list of names. See? The first name and the last name field. If you're going to do a mail merge, this is especially important. If you're going to do. Um, if you're going to add the, the plus four to your zip code, you got to add some tags. Put uh, put, put a, a little dash in between. Okay? In between anything within the quotation marks that show up, literally. So I'll show you that in a moment. Now, I'm going to step through the code by pressing my F8 key. First name is going to be Kerry. Last name is going to be Davis. First, I'm going to trim it up. In case there are any spaces, in this case I don't, but I'm just doing it just, just in case, just for grins. Okay, you really don't have to do that step. But I want to clean them up anyway. So now I'm going to join Carrie and Richard in together. And then I'm going to name, okay, that's my new, uh, Carrie Davis is, is finished. And then I'm going to write the name. Alright, let's see my, my result. Here's my result. Here, Davis. Great. Okay. Uh, what if you have, if you want, 
remember I said everything within these quotation marks is going to be a literal. So, so let's say I'm going to put I want to I want a dash in there or Geary, uh Yeah, you dash. That probably makes both sense. So if you if you I have a phone number that's not that has no dash in the middle, and you say uh, error code dash for uh, first three dash last four. So you go down through, and you're gonna maybe do an if statement, but you can add these dashes in place. So here I'm going to bang, and then my my name. If you look at this, uh, whenever I highlight this. When I hover over this variable, it's Kerry uh, dash Davis. Okay, if I look at the screen here, Kerry dash Davis. And so that is the uh, concatenation. And I hope that's helpful. And make sure that uh, you find a solution for yourself. You probably can apply it to your own, own needs. Again, everything in, within the quotation marks is literal. And the ampersand is the glue. This is the ampersand. It's uh, Shift 7 on your keyboard. Shift 7. So Shift 7 on your keyboard is the ampersand. And it's the glue. You're gluing the variable to a spade, to this tag, whatever in the quotation marks. And gluing the last name. To the end, and I could go out way over here if I wanted to. And if I, I could say ampersand, ampersand, this, okay, and then I could say, okay, now I want to have all this other tag. So I press F5 and run this thing, and you see my my name looks really weird down. But. Uh, Hopefully it's very helpful to you, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.